Hello there guys and welcome to the fourth step of the Trackmania Grand League. I hope that everything is working out because um, um, I have some issues here where, where um, Streamlabs showed me that I'm dropping some frames but it should be fine. I just dropped frames at the beginning but now it should be fine. So it uh, would be nice if you guys can tell me that. And welcome, welcome. A little, little bit later today and unfortunately I'm alone. But nonetheless, I'm gonna provide you a good overview here over the Eminem player over pack. And I hope that you guys will enjoy it. But first of all, hello there, hello there. First of all, a cup of tea, peppermint tea. Let's go. Ah, loving it. So the cold weather has been started again, or has, has started again. And um, yeah, my bed is also made, so everything is good on that side. So uh, welcome to all of you. Um, of course, Eric is not here. Um, he don't want to participate on a bias cast, but now I'm going to provide you with a cast. And next week, I'm going to invite or I will have Speedy by my side. So this will also be very cool. Um, I've casted him with him one step in uh, the first TMGL season. So this will be cool that we have uh, four ice instead of two ice spectating pack. Okay, so let's talk about the Trackmania Grand League. Yeah, let's talk about it. Um, some surprises um, that have happened uh, last week. Maybe you guys can list your surprise from the last week into the chat. Um, again, it says here that I'm dropping frames even though I'm not dropping frames. It is super weird, but let, let me check here. No, I'm not dropping frames, so uh, Streamlabs is debating me. Streamlabs is debating me. That is very nice. Okay, so what really surprised me is that Aurel again lost points. He now lost three consecutive times in a row his points. So this is very, very cruel for him and this step he needs to deliver as well as Bren Riolu. Both of them need to deliver as well, as well as Aurel. But Aurel is the biggest loser because he has lost the most amount of points. And um, yeah, they are all very, very far behind. But we're gonna go into the ranking later on. Then as well as uh, Pack losing 50% of his points on map 3 and 4 on Starglade and Hoverboard. But uh, he still took home 27 points, which was super cool to see. Then Afi's performance, of course, on the last two maps. There was also a, um, yeah, very surprisingly, because, I mean, Afi is a fast player, but him taking home so many points definitely has skyrocketed into the um, leaderboards. Okay, and the last thing is on the last track that we have Papu, Bren and Spam losing more than 25 points. So that was also a make it or break it, and we're gonna see those tracks again this time. So it will be... A hard nuts to crack for the players. Parrot dice or a parrot ice. And then, of course, uh, the other map called Cyclone will be map 3 and 4 now. But um, yeah, let's actually go into the predictions here, as you can see. Oh, okay. That's uh, a little bit small, I think. Oh, good that the quality is uh, 100 pixels. <laughs> Let me fix that. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Why did that happen? What the hell? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, wait a minute. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Copy and replace. Okay, there we go. And now transform and do this. Um, yeah. <laughs> wait, why? Um, <laughs> wait a minute. Um, professional cast, by the way. I tested it out beforehand, but now it doesn't work. You're actually kidding me, aren't you? Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay. There we go, there we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, so... The bets are from Eric's and my side. So, <laughs> Eric went for Gwen Pack and then Core Jr. And I went again for Aurel in the top three. And then we have Papu in P1 for me and Pack in P3. I think Pack will perform very well here. He can actually have a shot into the um, yeah into the top three, if not even more. But Papu just seems to be very strong, and now he will be back on track again. So I think my bet is very solid. There can be a player like um, let's say 
Marchant or Evon or Afi or Yannix even, um, who can also take the top three spot. But I think that um, this is a top three. So those players will declare it under themselves. So it can also be Aurel who, will, who can take it. But of course, Aurel lost over 150 points already. So this is a... Yeah, this is a very bad situation for him. Okay, you see the standings here? Carl Jr. has taken over the lead here with 115 points, but it's still super close, as you can see. Uh, from fifth to first place, we only have uh, 29 points. So this is not a lot. But um, yeah, this step will definitely decide who of those uh, bottom, uh, from fifth to eighth position, who will, um, yeah most likely make it to the playoffs so it will be it will be a very interesting step and also the battle here for the uh, in the top three if Peck can overtake Papu or Cal Jr which I hope he will so um, I think that Peck will have a good chance there but um, yeah also in the bottom half I mean let's take for example let's take Bren if Bren or Aurel if one of them gets a good step and they get 80 points they will boost into the top 8. Of course, it's also reliant on how Yannick, Gwen and Spam will perform. But I think that he definitely has the chance. So it is just sad to see that Aurel is down there, tied with, uh, onto P13 which, um, with Bren and Riolu. <sighs> okay. So what we have prepared today is something else. We have the map presentation, but we're gonna go one by one into it, so enjoy it a little bit. Um, okay, like that. Okay, so this is the first map that will be played. It is called Hoverboard. Uh, as you can see, it's a mixed style map uh, with uh, some uh, tech turns at the beginning, also over the sausage here where the inside is a little blocked is a little bit uh, more quiet and then this part is also very decisive you can get really a lot of speed over this dirt and um, yeah then we have the ice part here as you can see it is really um, hard to do with keyboards so players maybe have to play with pad there and then we can see um, some more of those parts where we have a reactive boost into a grass wall right so something that we don't see a lot as well so um, it is a very hard hard track and the identity will come up very soon. And we can see the M&M skin here, the pack skin. Um, doing it very well here, over jumps the um, fragile section. Now the identity is coming up. So you want to stay as straight as possible and then hover over to that because you have the reactor boost up you're able to pass that. That was the first map. And the second map will be Starglide, which is uh, the most tacky map of um, yeah, this map pack, I would say. Uh, a map where Pack has already won. Um, so that was cool to see. He was uh, winning it here on the second step against the Massa, where he uh, took home 67 points and the victory over the step. So that was really cool to see. So, uh, Starglide it is, and it has some really interesting transitions, and um, yeah, so Pack clearing those parts pretty well. This jump can be very decisive because you can risk it a lot here, and now um, another hard part is coming here after the grass section, where we have a freewheel section, and just after that you have to, yeah, do a uh, slide. You have to gather so much speed here and now we're gonna go into the identity so we've seen players really feigning this one and um, yeah, you have a reactive boost attached there as well and the player or you need to get the zoop in the ending as uh, pack is getting eventually no, not quite but you can get a lot of speed from that so this is the second map so on those opening maps you don't lose any points so half pub and switch bridge where the um, maps beforehand are out and now we have hoverboard and starglide and now we're gonna go into the semi-final maps which were maps five and six in the last type cyclone was map five and uh, uh, map six i'm sorry and will now be the third map 
Uh, it is a fast map, so one mistake can really decide a lot. We've seen uh, Granadi and other players making mistakes on that. And also both of the ice turns are not that easy to do. So um, it can really punish you hard here. As we go into the first, yeah, I would call this is actually the hardest part of the track. Since you really need to get um, a lot of speed from that. As Peck goes very far up here. And then goes for an insta steer to the left and then insta steers to the right again. So this is how you want to pass this identity. Really well done by him. And now the last couple of turns before the identity. Before the cyclone and the ending. Where you really want to get a lot of speed. You could have seen Peck cancelling the slide there. In order to get as much speed as possible. Because if you have a two wheeled slide, it is faster than a four wheeled slide. So Peck did that one pretty well. And now you jump into this identity here. And you see, you want to stay as straight as possible and also gather a lot of speed. Peck did this one pretty good. And on map three and four, you lose 50% of your points uh, if you are in the lower eight positions. So from nine uh, downwards. So. This uh, is uh, very important to know. And now we have Parrot Ice, a map I would say that is also very hard to do. Uh, a multi-style map, not that hard in terms of the skill, but the identity is really hard. Because, yeah, you will just see it now. Now we're gonna go into the, uh, uh, in, into the <laughs> explanation after that. So we have seen different lines there by Afi and Gwen compared towards the other players. And also here we see some tricksters with a left-right wriggle from a pack, which was uh, greatly executed. Because uh, if you wriggle on dirt and you're faster than 220, I think, you will gain time. So cool to see that. And now the section and we will approach now. One of the harder parts of the tracks where you can either go to the left or to the right. But right just gives you better speed. It gives you better speed over the... Um, three wheel section, which Pack went over here and here as well. And now comes the identity where you can either do a 270 degree car flip or just approach it from the very, uh, approach it very far up. Uh, Pack decides to flip here, which is uh, a safe variant and also not that slow. So greatly done by Pack, but you can easily misalign that. Now, the final maps. It's the make it or break it. The first map is bumpy jumpy and guys if you are in the lower eight uh, in the lower eight positions you will lose all of your accumulated points on those tracks so this can be very heartbreaking we've seen it from Aurel and also Peck has lost a considerable amount of points um, um, on the uh, on the first step if I recall that one correctly and uh, yeah now he is uh, now he wants to win this one or go home with at some points that he has the playoff spot secured so we see here this interesting okay interesting that um my youtube is popping up there i'm sorry um so the, this 180 degree turn there it is not that easy because you have to um yeah you have to estimate the turn with the reactor boost enabled and also the speed check you could have seen pack jumping a little bit before and that's what you want to avoid and now the identity you have to jump between some trees with the sausage block once, then the second time, the third time, and the last jump will be here um, just before the finish line. It can be, yeah, you can easily mess that one up. So this is the identity on this track on a bumpy jumpy. And the last track of this step is Circles. Circles is the last map. Um... You will see why it's called Circle. So Reactive Boost starts here with the ice again. And then going into a mixed style map. So you can see very fast paced map. And also a map where you can really push it. Because you have so much room to work with. On those uh, large blocks here. You can really push it. And you can also lose a lot of time. So um, it is really important to um, do those turns well. And also I think we will see some close battles here. But at the end of the day the identity will decide it so the identity will come up very soon in a couple of more turns but you see you're very fast here in this sector and now the identity you already see it there at the top but we're not quite there we just have to turn 
270 degree to the right and then jump from the saucer block onto the identity. It is really hard to do because it is a, um, yeah, a tilted circle up into a half pipe and then this jump is very blind. So uh, you can easily use on some sort of speed. But this is map number six and this is a map pack that is really tough. But um, yeah, I'm actually very interested to see how the players will perform. So, to sum up, we have Hoverboard, Starglide, map 1 and 2. We have seen those tracks two times already in step 3 uh, and 2. And then we have seen those tracks here, Cyclone and Paradise, on step 3 only. And then we have two new maps with, oops, with Bumpy Jumpy and Circles. So, if, if you have any more questions, Feel free to ask them, but that was the map presentation. And um, yeah, let's go into the trailer, the trailer, and then we're gonna go in game because it's already 1952. So we have only eight more minutes until we will see Peck winning, hopefully winning the step. Welcome to a Trackmania Grand League step. Let's zoom in on how a step works. Each step is played under the champion mode, which consists of six races taking place on six different maps. In each race, the 16 players will start the race at the same time and will execute six laps. The player with the best lap time is given two extra points for every race. For the first two maps, part of the opening phase, players get warmed up and win points according to their position. For maps three and four, things heat up, and the players who finish the race in 9th to 16th place lose half of their points won from the previous maps. Every player still wins points for the maps being played based on their position. For the two final maps, the pressure is on and everything is at stake. Players finishing the race in 9th to 16th place lose all the points that they have won so far. In conclusion, step points are fully determined at the end of map 6. And these step points are then added to the global ranking. All right, that was it. And I hope you guys... Oh, no, I wanted to turn on the in-game OST and the map has changed. So there we go. Let's boot up the game here. And this is a very... Yeah, that was a very good explanation. And if you guys have any more questions concerning... Um, yeah, any so any um, of, of the format or about the players or anyone. So make sure to do that. And we still have five more minutes, but let's hop into the game and see what uh, Pack can do here in the warm-up. So, let's go. Hello? In-game? Oh, it needs some time. I hate that. But yeah, there we go. We have uh, the in-game overlay booting up for you. It takes some time. I don't know why, actually. Because uh, I uh, enabled it uh, every time and then it just takes some time. But there we go. So Peck warming up here on Circles, which is one of the newer maps that I've introduced to you as well. And uh, keen to see how he will perform here. Okay. So wait, oh, I misclicked. So let's see how Peck will perform on this first identity here. And uh, see how he will uh, cope that. Because it's not that easy, as I've mentioned beforehand. Um, you see, you don't want to jump very far up. And you want to minimize airtime as much as possible. And also hit the booster there. So a lot of things that you have to do. And uh, yeah, this was a very uh, up or yeah, like wide jump, let's say, like that. He went very, very far up. And uh, thus he um, yeah didn't get the best uh, lap time. But it was still okay, I would say. So, okay, identity, but um, I can really see uh, players pushing it here. Okay, so um, I talked to Peck um, about the actual um, yeah, maps, how he feels about them. And he doesn't really know how to feel about them. He only knows or he only claimed that uh, Paradise uh, may be a struggle and he feels good on map 6. So, uh, really hoping that he will perform good there. And um, I think he will. 
so I put him into the third spot here uh, in uh, the betting so I think that he will also uh, land in the top five or even in the top three as we go into the second identity here so let's see greatly done here a little bit too much airtime but still pretty good and here he went a little bit I'm not sure if, if far up or a little bit more down is uh, better because you have this free wheel section coming up afterwards and um, yeah, indeed, the top eight will qualify into the playoffs. And um, we have six steps that will be played. And we still have three more with today being uh, the fourth step. So um, next week and the week after that, there will be two more steps. And of course, the step today. All right, all right. So three more minutes. Any questions, any concerns you have? Any surprises, maybe? that you may predict uh, make sure to tell me and I'm uh, interesting I'm interested to to hear them so a player who also has to push it of course is none other than Aurel and Riolu and then of course Bren so I'm gonna keep my eye of course mainly today on pack and then, of course, those three players as well. So, Peck is certainly not in a fight. I'm trying to focus on uh, the other players. But I'm trying to keep the cast as uh, much on Peck focused as possible. Okay, another question here. Um, I think it is... Um, I mean, if you have some private um, things or some, like some things that are inevitable and you, you just have to do them we had that with car jr um on the last trackmania grand League season one but you have to play the steps else yeah you have to you have to play the race but i mean we had march and having um connection issue issues now called avon so uh some things can happen and uh, therefore, um, sometimes players are not able to play. But uh, this time, everything seems to work out. But yeah, a Javelin also listed a good point here. Their racing can af affect the standings between 6 and 12. And you don't want to do match fixing. So this is what I would consider max match fixing if a player is intentionally not playing because then of course one less player is losing his points um which is uh, a huge amount if you ask me so and of course if you want to cheer for pack um type in go space and then pack um i hope um that we see a heart for pack here so go ahead and do that and we will start very soon we only have one more minute left and then we will go live Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, hello there. Very late joining my channel. Hello? Oh, nerves, man. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Wait. Hello? Hello. Yeah, sh shouldn't I be here, or...? <laughs> uh, I don't know, there's uh, one minute to the thing, so... Uh... <laughs> I mean, I mean, everyone of the casters is here, so... I mean, you can just mute yourself, and then it's everything, everything is good. But I wish you the best of luck, Peck. Thanks, man. I, I will meet myself. But yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have a good it. cast, dude. Yeah, thanks. Good luck. Cheers. Okay, because I'm in the uh, M&M... Yeah, if you just say muted, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to work this thing. Wait, wait, just mute yourself, right? Oh, yeah, I figured it out. I figured it <laughs> out. I figured it out. I found the button. I found the button. Okay, good luck, man. <laughs> oh, okay, Peck struggled to mute himself. But now everything is good. <laughs> That's the charm we have with Peck. With Tom, man. So, uh, nice seeing that. And he was he was like, what are you doing in my channel? But every one of the, the casters are in the channel, certainly. So, I just didn't know why I shouldn't be in the channel. But everything is good now. I don't know. We just muted ourselves. So, everything is good. And let's go, Pack. Let's show them that you can take over the top one because it is only 11 points between him and Carl Jr. So he can make it happen. 
He can make it happen. It is Carl Jr. with... Oh, no. Actually, 14 points. I'm sorry. Carl Jr. with one 15 points and Pack with 101 points. So it could be Pack who can take over the lead uh, today. So hopefully he can make it happen here. And um, yeah. Also a player who I didn't really see too much is Scrappy. But um, yeah, we have some other names. So this, this Trackmania Grand League season is super stacked at the moment. It is super, super stacked. Masa going for some cuts here. All right. So just uh, spectating a player who's playing because Peck is uh, standing at the start. And you can also see the entry here to the identity can be messed up if you um, yeah, misapproach it. But um, yeah, Afi is probably just trying something. But we are starting in four seconds. Let's go. The fourth step here. It is a very important step for Peck and all the other players. So let's go and try um, uh, to focus on on him and uh, see what he can do. So the first map, as mentioned beforehand, is Hoverboard with a very hard identity. Um, I would say the hardest one here, despite it being that short. But of course, we have a warm-up at first. And I think... The follow all cam here for the first lap or before the first major mis mistake is a good choice. It is a very good choice here. So guys, support pack here by uh, writing go and then space pack into the chat and show him his support. Maybe he can get a uh, a heart here. Hopefully to see that. And. Um, yeah, one minute of warm-up still left. Hoverboard by Tona will be the first map. And, um, yeah. No points will be lost here. Of course, you don't have accumulated points. But you can gain points here. So nothing will happen here on those tracks. As we see Ryobu in first in the warm-up. So this is a kind of surprise. Uh, but <laughs> just when I say that, I jinxed him. Oh, I'm sorry, Ryolu. I'm sorry, man. Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> Yikes. The caster's curse is kicking in yet again. I'm super good at casting. <clears throat> Alright, so... The identity... Has been, uh... Coped by Pack. So, uh, very greatly done. And we are starting now with the first map, Hoverboard. Let's go. So, let's do the helicopter cam here because I think it's the it's the best way to spectate and see what happens here to the players. Bren making the first mistake even. Um, the Gameto Core player making the first mistake. So, he finds himself one second behind. But still, I'm gonna stay in this cam. And we can also see Carl Jr. being a little bit further behind. And then Peck as well being on P11. Okay, let's see. Peck gives us a very good overview here over the players. And we see Afi, Massa and Kappa being in the top three. But just when I say that it is um, um, Kappa falling a bit behind. Peck with a beautiful eye section. Look at that. Goes up into the third place here. Or up into the third place. We only have Massa and Papu ahead of him. Spam not with a lot of speed here in this section. So, Pack will claim that third place, but now getting attacked by Afi and Spam. But still a very close fight. We see also Tween making a mistake, as well as Matt, or just, just being a little bit further behind. But then also, we've seen... Oh, no, I thought someone made a mistake. I think it was Spam, right? Spam has touched the roll, I think. Or someone else. But maybe I was just mistaken. Or Dizzy, I don't know. <laughs> but let's go here. Pack is approaching the identity on P number 5. Carl Jr. jumping super far to the right. Has to readjust this line. And Carl Jr. with a mistake. Carl Jr. is dead. And then we have Massa, Papu, Spam and Pack being in the top 4. And it is Carl Jr. who had to respawn. But look at that. Scrappy, Carl Jr., Kappa and Tween with a mistake. And then also Gwen and Afi. So 6 players making a mistake. Oh man, oh man. This was not good. And yeah, Pack up into the battle here for that 4th position. Behind him we have Matt. Nice to see that. And then also Riolu and Aurel. So players who are in dire need of some points. And we can see Peck going for a very, yeah, 
for up line. So also a beautiful ice section there by Peck. Look at that. Just eating spam alive here. And going, um, yeah, closer to Papu and Massa. So very greatly done. As we see Massa and Papu with a, having a nice fight here uh, for that second uh, for that first place. But what I really want to stress on here is that Matt and Riolu are doing very, very well. Look at that. They're on fourth and fifth position. And um, yeah. Why do I even speak about that Matt is doing a great job? I'm only jinxing him. Why? But let's see what Pack is doing here in this identity. Oh, was able to hold his approach here. Was stabilizing that Papu not with a good landing. And thus Pack will overtake him. But very close battle here between them. And then also Massa is not too far ahead. And uh, then we also have Riolu still holding strong. Getting attacked by Aurel and Spam. So they are occupying P4, 5 and 6 at the moment. Pack not in a fight at the moment. So let's take a little bit. Let's stay a little bit further back. And see what Pack will do here. If players will come closer. Or if Pack can attack here on this ice again. Let's actually see is Pack... Gain will pack gain time on this ice. It seems that he has figured it out very well, but no, this time around he has not. And still, it is Massa and Papu in the lead. So great start for both of them, but also for pack 12 points into um, the back would be good for him. And then we can see Carl Jr., who completely died at the first identity, taking the fastest lap. So, yeah, very close fight here. Massa and Papu still neck in neck. Then we have Pack in third, Spam in fourth position, Aurel in fifth, and then Riolu in sixth, despite being two and a half seconds behind. Now let's see the identity. Oh, Pack jumping super far to the left, but was able to stabilize it. Papu again, not with a good landing here. And Pack coming a bit closer. So Papu was very wonky in this section, but still is able to um, hold his line there. And Massa still holding strong here. So great performance here from uh, the Berlin international gaming player. And then also Papu and Pack doing extraordinarily well here. Okay, look at that. Papu overtaking Massa here. Maybe, yes, but only 500 of a second. What a close fight. This is Massa struggling here a bit, and Pack will overtake him. For the second position. So this is for two points. But Pekno with a good exit there. So still we have three more identities to pass. And after that two more laps. And um, yeah it is neck and neck here between Massa and Pek. Again as we've had this battle on the second step as well. But this time it's not for the first place. It's for the second place. But what a close fight. Pack not with the best landing here. But it is 0.4 of a second between the top three. What a close fight. Papu not with a good jump again. But he was able to stay alive. That was super close there to the right. And Massa is getting a super good line again. And Massa almost going over into the lead again. So Pack taking it rather conservatively cons compared to what's Massa, who's just pushing it here, who wants those 20 points. But what a fight here. What a fight for that first position. Wow. No, it is, it is Berlin International Gaming. Uh, that's the uh, uh, short, shortened for big. So all good. <laughs> and yeah, now we have wonky eyes for Papu here and also Masanov with the best approach so Peck will come a bit closer 0.2 of a second so this could be a thriller here in this ending Peck again overtaking Masa in this section and now it's between Peck and Papu in this part 0.12 of a second and we have one more lap to go one more lap and two more identities Peck versus Papu and it is super close here Massa has fallen a bit behind, 0.6 of a second. Then we have Aurel on fourth and Spam just behind that. So still pretty close. A mistake can decide it, but very, very close fight here between them. Oh, Pack with a lot of speed. Going, might just go into the lead. Papu jumping super far to the left and has to readjust his line. And it is Pack in the lead. But we are still have one more lap and it's Pack in the lead. Massa in second. Then we have Spam in third and we can see bye-bye, Papu. Who dropped down to P11 and Pack is in the lead. 0.3 of a second between him and Massa. And let's follow Pack's victory roads here as he's in the lead.
Peck can take it all here. 0.4 of a second. He has lots of time to work with, but he's still one more identity to go. His eyes look stronger, but Massa is coming closer and closer here. Let's go with Massa's POV here. But no, Massa has no speed to work with. So Pack will extend the seat to have a second here. So very greatly done here by the m, &M player. He wants to prove something here. And indeed he's doing it so. Only one more identity to go. And a couple of turns. So Pack will indeed most likely win it. But I don't want to jinx it here. I'm sorry if I have done so. But we see Pack still being on first. Massa attacking though. But not really coming closer here. So Pack is extending his lead. Or is he? Oh, Massa. Massa, Massa, Massa. Let's see Pack staying in the lead. One more identity to go. Going super far left. No, Pack. Pack. No. Pack with the respawn. And Pack has choked it. No. Ah. Why do I even say something? Ah! <laughs> oh, Pack dropping from P1 to P10. Yeah, um, I think the caster spot for next week is open. So if you want to uh, apply, um, slide into the DMs of Carl or Javelin. So all good, guys. Pack only with 5 points instead of 20. Oh man. I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so. But I mean, 5 points is better than... Two points. Can we be optimistic here? I think that's a good call, right? <laughs> okay, so Massa winning it over spam. Then we have Bren, Evon, Afi, Papu. And then Matt and Riolu in the top eight. So nice to see that. But on the other hand, Carl Jr. and Pack only with five points here. And also Aurel, Gwen, Scrappy, Yannix, and Tween and Kappa. Kappa not even finishing. So they're in the bottom eight. <coughs> Okay. Yeah, I mean, it can happen, but it's better on the first map than on the sixth map. But the thing is, it can really kill your momentum and your confidence. So, um, all good, all good. But I think Pag is a player who can definitely cope with that. So hopefully he will perform here on the second map of the opening phase. It is Starglight. Which is uh, the most tacky map of uh, this uh, map pack. And we know that Pack has won so many tech competitions beforehand. So I would consider him as one of the best, if not even the best, tech player. And um, yeah, Pack is uh, driving here super well right now, finding himself at the first place. And hopefully, um, I will not jinx him this time. He has already proven that he can win this map. Uh, where he had this ma uh, battle against Massa. So Pack has shown that he is uh, fast on this one. And now he can show it again. But uh, with that opening phase, there is a lot more risk uh, involved. And uh, I hope that uh, Pack will stay ahead and won't make any mistakes. So uh, let's go here. Two more seconds until we will start. Starlight by Link. Let's go. So go pack, cheer for pack. Of course, he can collect hearts here, and he has not collected any heart, uh, hearts yet. So let's see the helicopter camp who's making the first mistake. It is Matt dropping behind, and Matt is already completely down here, more than uh, two seconds behind, I would say. And now going over to, into that free will section, Matt has not a chance here. Three and a half seconds, so this is not looking good here for the space station gaming player. And let's see where Pack is. Pack right now occupying P5. Spam Grandmaster and Tween are ahead of him. But it is super close to call. It is Tech, of course. It is very, very close. Point 0.4 between 1st and 15th position. And then we have um, yeah, Matt, of course, making that first mistake. 
Gwen, Tween and Massa are ahead of pack. But Gwen with a mistake just in the free wheel section. But Tween with a good land, with a good line here. And then we have Pack finding himself in that second position now. So great identity. He breaks a little bit more beforehand, I have the feeling. But Pack now in the lead. Again, a very, very solid performance here from Pack in that first lap. Finding himself in the first position. But look who's there. It is Evon on the second position. But Pack with a superbly good first lap. Point three ahead of Evon. What a great performance by Pack so far. Greatly done by him. And there we can see Evon and Carl Jr. behind. So we see players by, by the name of Scrappy, Papu, Gwen and Aurel dropping behind. And then of course Matt has made an... Not of course, but Matt has made an, um, an additional mistake. So they are out on this battle. Scrap, of course, the players who are three seconds behind can still make something happen. But um, it will be super hard to keep up with the pace here of Pack, Avon and Carl Jr. But it seems that Pack is just on another level at the moment. As he is half a second ahead of the rest. Just after two laps and now going into the next identity very great um, driving here by pack but didn't get the best speed here so Avon will come a bit closer here in this section but still nothing has been set in stone as you see pack is breaking just before the ice a little bit more but it just seems to be a little bit faster so pack despite uh, breaking a lot there doing it very well Avon got the zoop though so Avon again with a lot of speed so let's follow him here for that battle between him and Pack. Go Bren. I thought go Pack, but that was not the case. So uh, Bren being behind. And Evon with a mistake there. So Evon is dead, but um, still able to hold that uh, third place. And um, yeah, still greatly done by him that he was saving it. I'm not sure what has happened to Evon there for the team secret player. But uh, he is uh, completely down of this battle here for, for that first position. But still a great performance for the Polish player. Peck still in first. Then we have Carl Jr. in second. Yannick's claiming that fourth position. But just when I said that, it is Spam overtaking him. And Kappa as well. So Kappa having, uh, has accumulated zero points on that first map. Now up into the du double digit points. So good job for him. Peck again still in the lead. What a great race here from from our Eminem player here. Not getting the zoop here so you can see Cole Jr. will just overtake him here. But um, not that much of a lead for him but Peck jumped a little bit too far. A little bit too close I mean. So what happens then is that your car won't accelerate as fast and um, you will get left behind with no speed. So um, that was unfortunate stuff for Pack there, but still holding strong at that second position. Maybe he can come a bit closer. So let's take Pack's point of view, as it's very interesting to see if he can catch up to Carl Jr. here. So point 25 already gained, point 10 of a second. So this is why Pack is the fastest tech player out there. Good jump here as well. But not coming closer though, Carl Jr. is holding up with the pace of Pack here. But we still have three more identities to go. Oh, but Pack making the mistake there just in the free world section and Evon will overtake him. And then we also have Spam and Kappa being behind. But uh, with some good identity sections, it, it can be Pack who can overtake um, Carl Jr. and Evon here. You really need to get a lot of speed in this section here, which Pack has not really gotten you need to jump a little bit more out that you get a lot of uh, boost from the um, reactor boost but still 0.7 1.7 of a second behind Carl Jr. and Avon but I'm really surprised by Avon here who is performing very well has gotten himself 10 points on the first map and now up to second position and he could go home with 16 points because you can see here, he has the fastest lap. But you see a lot of mistakes have happened here. Gwen, almost 10 seconds behind. Aurel, 10 seconds. Papu, 10 seconds behind. And then Riolo, Massa and Matt, more than 10 seconds. So this is a very, very mistake-heavy um, map so far. 
but those maps are for me when I would play them are there to risk because they can really get a, um, yeah, a lot of points into as Peck gets a lot of speed but ex exits a little bit too far to the to the outside there but um, maybe he can um, yeah. <laughs> get um, done with that error and get some good identity sections here but it wasn't quite enough here as we see Evon and Kao Jr. battling out Evon with a little bit more speed so it could be really it could be really exciting going into that last lap who's taking that first position Peck of course has a good chance he has to push it a lot he's 1.1 seconds behind Kao Jr. who's right now the leader of the race but um, yeah it uh, will be a close fight between Evon and Kao Jr. if Evon is risking it we never know we never know Six additional points is a lot, but of course puts more pressure on your shoulders on um, the upcoming maps. It's one second, so Peck has already uh, come closer here towards Carl Jr. and Evan and could overtake them. So you can really see Peck is pushing it here. But Carl Jr. is denying both Evan and Peck. Last identity, Pack with a lot of speed, 0.87 between him and Cole Jr. Pack might push it here. Has Pack more speed? He has good speed here in this section. Cole Jr. still in the lead, but Pack pushing it too much, and Pack died again in the last identity. No way, Pack. No man. But still, he will overtake Bren here for that sixth position. So he will go home with some points, but Carl Jr. Who takes the win over Avon. Then we have Yannick's three seconds. Oh, but Bren will stay ahead of Pack. So Pack really chokes in the last lap. And of course he goes home here with um, eight points. But he could have gotten more. Wait, did Bren and Pack tight? Wait, what? I think Bren and Pack tight on the thousandth of a second. But Pack has gotten himself the eight points here and then we have uh bren with seven points so eight points is still good but he could have gotten himself 12 points on this track but still he will go up into the eighth position with that so evon is in the lead then we have Cole jr massa and then bren spam and afi behind that So pretty close and no one has really run away so there's no player with 30 plus points as Evon and Carl Jr. have both gotten yeah I mean Evon has gotten two well good maps as he uh, was finishing in um, in fifth position and then in second and has gotten himself uh, the additional two points and then of course Carl Jr. has gotten himself ninth or tenth and then the first position So now we have Cyclone. It was map number six. And um, on the last step, and now it will be the third map and we'll introduce you the second phase. It will be the semi-final phase. So let's say, let's say Yannix is in the bottom eight of the pack. He will lose seven points. Because he has accumulated 15 points and he will lose 50% of your points that you have gotten to that point. So um, Pack could lose 6 points on this track. So let's see how things will go. Okay, so I'm just gonna just gonna retweet it here, like it. All right, all right. So warm up has ended, and now we'll start. Now it will be hot because you have to be in the top eight, and let's see how the players will perform on the first lap. Let's see who will make that first mistake here. As we see, a lot of go packs here in the chat, and we can. See, I'm not having a, um, a heart yet, but we have also already 60,000 votes, so this will be a hard task.
Matt dropping down again, as well as Carl Jr. finding himself in P15. And then it's very even here between the other players. Okay, Riolu there as well. So I hope that Riolu, Bren and Aurel will perform here. Because those are players who I definitely see in the top 8 of the playoffs. As you see Pack being in the 8th position at the moment. So um, not the best ice section. Didn't get a lot of speed. But um, now he's able to keep his points if he will stay in this position. Going to this first identity, of course, it was um, the second ice or the first ice part, which is really important. And um, I hope that Pack will survive it. Scrappy Gwen, okay, Scrappy Evon and Tween are in the first position, and then we have Gwen behind, then Aurel, Spam, and then already Pack, and then Massa, and then already a, a gap here. Look at that, the top eight has already split here. 0.5 of a second after the first lap so this is um, a pretty pretty uh, yeah huge already 0.5 of a second is a lot um, after the first lap okay Pack doing this one good gets a lot of speed Scrappy fails it and then also Gwen not with the best amount of speed and Aurel also not doing it well so Pack Showing that he has learned this ice. Um, it was really close on this track on uh, the last step. But uh, Pack was able to keep his points on Cyclone. Where he was finishing in P5. So again Pack is on the 5th position here. We have Massa, Spam and Tween. Battling it out for the 2nd place. And then we have Evon. Evon really... Drops to Evon. He is playing super, super well this step. And this is what I was expecting from Evon. He is the player who are, who is, yeah, who's getting underestimated the most, I think. But look at that. He's 0.9 ahead of Spam, Tween, Massa, Aurel, and then Pack. We have world champions behind him. And Evo, Evon is just eating them like a fly. Evon is performing outstandingly well. Hopefully, he can um, cope the pressure and stay there because this is what he deserves 26 points after the first two maps really great performance by Avon and then also Pack does a very great identity spam with a mistake and then we have Massa and Tween right now occupying P2 and 3 Avon not with the best amount of speed and spam dropping to P10 and look at that spam 19 points 19 points for spam and he is about to lose them all or not all but half of them he will lose all of them and map for uh, map 5 onwards. So Pack capitalizing from mistakes. Evon, Massa, Tween and Pack in the top 4. Massa with a good amount of speed. Can he overtake Evon here? No he can't. Evon is just on another level. Really well played. Greatly done by him. Really really props to him. Going into lap number 4. Scrappy with the fastest lap time uh, in the prior lap. But still Evon holding it here with a 112.01. Already a gap there between Pack, Scrappy, and then also Pack and Massa. As you can see here, nothing is really happening in the field of um, Pack. So let's see. Can Cole Jr. claim the eighth position, or will it be um, Kappa here, who has actually made a mistake? He has jumped too, more, too far to the left, and Riolo will overtake him. So Riolo is uh, capitalizing from that. But yeah, let's see. How Pack is doing it here as he has overtaken Tween here. So maybe should have uh, went to Pack just before that ice part there. But um, yeah, maybe Tween can attack him as we see Scrappy there as well. So Pack can get attacked here by the players. But I just wanted to see what has happened there to the other players. Tween with a good identity. Of course, he has won this map on the last step. But no, Tween not with a lot of speed. For only two more laps to go. Avon still in the lead. What a performance. And then we have Massa behind. Also 22 points. So all the yeah, like big scores here are in the lead. But then we all also have Co Jr. with 25 points. Occupying P7. Riolu right now in the green. 
So this will also be nice to see him um, going home with his points. But he gets attacked by Kappa here. But we see different approaches here. Riolu with more speed. So this is good for him. Okay, let's see. Tween with a better identity. So equal speed for them. This will be the battle here for the third position. Tween versus Pack, but also Evon has dropped behind. So Massa now in the lead. Massa is really strong on those first three maps. But what a close fight here between the Pittsburgh Knights player and the Eminem player. And then also Evon is now in the mix as Pack and Tween are both pushing it here. So this is a very, very equal bet. Evon almost hitting it there. Oh man, what a close fight. Tween going super far up and Tween loses on a lot of speed. And let's see Pack the last lap curse. Can he um, get over it? Because he has choked. He has performed outstandingly well here on the last two maps. And now he is at the spot again where he can take a top three placement. And it looks very well for him. 1.5 seconds ahead uh, behind Massa here. And then we have Tween behind him. This could be the third place for Pack and plus 12 points. Evon could take home the fastest lap here. But let's go with Pack. This part can decide a lot. Will Massa stay in first or can Pack capitalize from a mistake? Evon not with the best approach here. Oh, and it will Pack going into the second position indeed. And this is super good here for the MM player. Into the second place we go. Pack could take home plus 14 only one more ice part to go and Evon drops down to p5 but still a good performance it is massa taking home that first position pack in second then we have aurel betting it out with tween here so let's see what the battle is here but it will be aurel no tween with more speed never mind it will be aurel in the lead ahead of tween wait what huh wait what massa match fixing Massa? What has happened? Guys, the first... What? what? <laughs> it, it's the second time. I'm not spectating Pack. This... Oh my god, guys. Uh, Massa, hello. It's the second time I'm not spectating Pack. And <laughs> Massa is making the mistake. Guys, I'm really trying to be more biased here. And I'm not sure what has happened to Massa. But it is Pack taking over the first place there and goes over into the third position here wow what guys i'm super sorry but what what was happening there oh my god i was a bit flushed by that actually i was a bit flushed by that <laughs> oh man okay okay <laughs> oh man <laughs> yeah so we won the third map and this will put us up to 33 points but look how close that is pack Carl jr similar points and then we have massa and avon on the first and second position wow <laughs> okay so paradise paradise is the fourth map and it is a map that is um is it easier i'm not sure about that i mean players had time to figure it out here but um we have seen different approaches by uh, afi and gwen guys from now on i will never say that someone has won because everything can happen as you could have seen there oh man jesus jesus christ man <laughs> but yeah that's that's definitely what peg was in need of after two yeah mistakes he could have really dominate this uh this step here if he would have not made that mistakes in uh, map one and two but now he's up to p3 So yeah, the last map of the semi-final phase is starting now. Let's go and follow all players here. Be in the top eight is the quest. We are halfway through the fourth TMGL step. And let's go here.
Let's go with the fourth map. Evon a bit further behind and he has 37 points onto his account. So if he will be in... Oh no, Evon with a mistake. The pressure is kicking in and also the penalty. So if Evon will finish in the lower eight, posi eight positions, he will lose 18 points. And he was, of course, the leader of the race. So this is not a good start for Evan as he has 4.8 seconds behind. And it seems like I'm just jinxing everyone. I'm jinxing everyone. And I'm sorry for that. So, Peck, hopefully I won't jinx you. Hopefully you will perform bad. So I'm doing the anti-jinx here. <laughs> All right. We see Gwen and Afi, both the OGL players. And then also uh, Papu in the top four with Peck. And then, speaking of OGL, it is Yannix in the lower 8th um, position here. And we see Pack going for that upside approach. So, great line. And look at the speed from Pack. Pack is the leader. And Pack just looks super strong here on this TMGL step. What a beautiful identity by Pack. What a dominant performance by Pack. Okay. So, we can hear the cheers there. So Pack doing really well here. 0 0.6 ahead of Tween and 0 0.7 ahead of Massa. What a performance by him. And then we have Gwen um, also in the mix. Overtakes Massa in the meantime. But we can really clearly see the difference here of the players. Look at that. What a close pack here between that and then we have Pack. Yeah, Pack, Pack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, just being miles ahead. What a great performance here. What a great performance. Pack leading the pack. Indeed. So go pack here. He is really strong on this identity. And really nice to see that he has adapted his style on this one. And is now actually able to do it that well. That is really nice to see. So second identity coming up. Let's spectate pack. Goes for the far up approach again. Looking very, very good. And again, he's one second ahead. One second ahead of Gwen and Massa. Pack, are you? This is inhuman. Inhuman performance by Pack. Has the fastest lap. Point one ahead of Core Jr. here. What a great performance by Pack. Wow. Just, I have to. I'm really speechless about that. So really nice to see that, that he has put so much effort into those tracks and nice seeing that. So the fight here for the second place is going on. And uh, we can see Gwen has a little bit of room to breathe, but then we have Massa, Bren, Afi, Cole Jr., Scrappy, all in between 0.2 of a second and Pack is one second ahead of the other players. What a performance. Performance here from Pack, greatly done and really nice to see that proud that Pack is performing that well. So fourth map and of course on this one you will lose 50% of your points again and look at that Aurel is a little bit further behind. So let's just go with Aurel here for this identity. Hopefully nothing will happen now. Actually now I feel bad because I'm not spectating Pack because I, guys, I'm, I I want to spectate other people, but I'm scared that something is, ha is happening to Peck. Because the last two times I was not spectating Peck. <laughs> two mistakes have happened on the other sides. So hopefully this won't happen here. As we see Aurel indeed overtaking Cole Jr. and Bren here maybe. But no, he's overtaking Bren here. So Aurel able to go into the green here. And Peck still in the lead. Then Gwen Massa behind. Afi P4. Scrappy on P5. And then we have Papu and Cole Jr. on 6th and 7th. And then Aurel with the last safe spot. But he's getting attacked here by Bren. And then also Matt who has lost 50% of his points beforehand. Kappa also can have a saying. And then we have Tween, Spam, Avon, Rio and Yannix. All with double digit amount of points. Being, yeah, dead last kind of. So they are most likely losing their points but uh, pack is crumbling a bit or Gwen is just pushing it we know that Gwen is a very risky player and he has come 0.4 of a second closer towards pack 
And we still have three more identities to go with. Gwen with that inside approach. So you can see not a lot of speed for him. And uh, he has to readjust his line there. Because he was just so far inside. It is Gwen with uh, not a lot of speed here. But you can see the approaches here are just superior than the ones from uh, the other players. I'm not sure how they did this here. But let's just see. Um, Massa, actually all of the four players here in the top four are doing it like that as well as Scrappy and um, yeah so this is the superior tactic which was found by Afi and Gwen not sure who uh, I can give the credit to but um, greatly done by them so Pack still in the lead so, dominant performance, but Gwen is really pushing it here. Oh, not the best speed for Peck there. You can see Gwen coming close to 0.27 of a second. This could be a thriller. We have two more laps to go. And uh, two more identities to pass. And it seems that Gwen is pressing B for boost right now. Goes for very aggressive lines here. And you can see it's working out. 0.19 of a second. But this part now, which will come up now, was better done by Peck. Because Gwen is going for that inside approach. Goes temporarily into the lead, of course. But Pack just with more speed. But just when I said it, it's Gwen with an inhuman performance. And Pack making that mistake. And Pack dropping down to P3. But only a minor mistake here for Pack. Down to P4. Or in this battle for that fourth position. Massa with that um, yeah 270. No scope. And uh, yeah, therefore getting overtaken by Afi and Pack. And Pack now up to the second place. Gwen, point 1.3 seconds ahead. And we have Matt with a DC. Unfortunate to see that. But maybe he will come or he will lag in again. We will never know. So Pack on the second position. Also, not also with the fastest lap. It is Papu with the fastest lap. So he will uh, gain himself some points. Oh, but Pack with a mistake there. Touching the outside there to the right. And Afi and Bren will overtake him. So Afi and Bren. Both um, are capitalizing from that. But of course we still have one more identity to go. As we see also Massa here. So a 10 pointer would be good for Pack here. But he can also aim for or opt for more of that. In this last identity. Afi with that inside approach. Bran outside approach. But Prek with a lot of speed. He might catch this upper gear. He goes over to that third position. Yes he will indeed. Pack with a more speed than Afi will. Pack overtake Afi in this ending. What, two more identities to go. And it is Pack with more speed than Afi. The last part will decide it. Who will risk it more? It is Afi with a more inside approach and Peck with more speed, but it's not enough. And it will be actually Bren who will overtake Peck in the ending. Oh no. So Peck dropping from P2 to P4 because he has lost the grip there in the end. But still a great performance from Peck. Going home with 10 points. Gwen in first. Then we have Afi in second. And then a Bren with that... Um, ending in third position so pack again pushing it there in the ending and uh, losing some points but still a very good performance here as you can see we have a new leader massa in first pack in second and then we have carl jr in third position but yeah pack really throwing for skins but now it will be decisive now it will be decisive guys because we have the last maps coming up the last maps are coming up. But before that we will have a break. <laughs> so this is the standing here. We can see unfortunately Evan has lost his points. So from uh, 37 to 22 points. But still an outstandingly good performance here from the team secret players player. But hopefully he will keep his points. And hopefully all the other players here who have accumulated a lot of points by the name of Pack Cole Jr. And also Massa will keep their points. So 
Yeah, great performance by Pack so far. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so Pack might focus here because it's a really good step for him so far, as you can see. And um, he could have get, gotten himself way more points on the first map. He could have won it. Uh, so this means plus 15 points. On the second map, he could have gotten himself in second position. I think he got uh, six-ish or so. So Pack could have been at more than 60 points already. And it is a really dominant performance by him so far. But um, yeah, still 43 points for him. It's really good. And if he... If he, um, if he keeps those points, it will be a, yeah, a great step into the actual playoff phase. As you can see, he's 12 points behind Cole Jr. And would be up to 144 points if everything will stay like that. But of course, we have map 5 and 6 coming up. Yeah, indeed. Uh, I was thinking that uh, Papu will perform a little bit better, but uh, maybe he has put some effort into the other maps. But my bat cannot be right anymore, because I I said that uh, Papu will win it, then Aurel, and then Pack in P3. But um, it is not possible. I mean, it, theoretically it's possible, but it's very unlikely. And uh, I just think now that um, Papu won't have a saying here for that uh, top 3 battle unless he will get outstandingly well um, yeah map, maps here but uh, it will be a hard task so cheer for your favorite cheer for pack of course Type in gold space and then pack. Pack is taking a break. And I'll be right back. Um, I'm gonna grab myself some more water because my throat is really sore. I will be back in two minutes. So let's just focus here on um, yeah, some other players. Let's that, that just actually go with, the, with this camera here so you can see the action of every player. So I'll be right back and we will go live in three minutes. Hello! I'm back with some water. So I react to this is the follow all camera. Um, which is of course not good. When there are so many players on the fields and uh, spread players. But um, yeah, that's the follow all. 
this was uh, taking that because if a player decides to stand still when I'm um, <laughs> grabbing my water, it um, <laughs> it is very bad, you know. So, 16, 15 seconds to go till the final phase. We will start with the bumpy jumpy, uh, the fifth map here, and who is not um, knowing about the final phase. Um, it means that you will lose all your points when you are on the bottom eight. And you can see so many players have gathered a lot of points. Nine players over 20 points. So no player has really run away with points. So it's really close here for that fourth position. But let's just go here with the first lap. Let's follow all here in this one. Of course, it's, it's not a good camera when uh, an object is blocking it. So a two-dimensional it's like for more two-dimensional maps. But um, yeah, let's go here. You can see um, Kappa and Tween. So the former team member is falling a bit behind. And we have Gwen, Scrappy, Spam, Papu and Pack a little bit further behind. And let's go with the normal camera. Avon also making mistakes. So after his well perf or good performance here on the first three maps, Avon is a bit crumbling here. So look at that. He is already behind, but also Yannick's. Not really gathered himself a lot of points. Let's see Pack Pack with a lot of speed here. There was the three wheel section. Greatly done by him. Also the um, air control there. Because if you're too fast, you will just uh, yeah lose some time. And you can easily misalign your car. Okay, this is the first identity here. The bumpy jumpy onto the sausage roll. And then this jump is super hard to do. But all the players seem to survive it. Evon and Yannick are a bit behind and then Matt making the mistake in that last jump there So Matt is six seconds behind and it's unfortunate to see that Matt is making so many mistakes Pack not with the best ice line in this section And uh, yeah, he has fallen a bit behind but still in the green which he wants to aim for So if he stays in the green for the next two maps, he will have a very very good step here and could actually win it here So very solid performance Gwen, Spam, Cole Jr. Papu in the top four. But just when I said that it, it's packed with a very good drift here. Look at that. But Gwen seems to be very much prepared for this step. The game ward player. Pretty done. Oh, pack as Cole Jr. and Papu going super far to the wall. But uh, they are able to um, not get in touch with that. What a close fight here for them spam jumping super far to the outside let's see the identity here gwen still super far ahead then we have papu kaujuni and afi with a good landing spam as well pack taking it a little bit more conservatively and afi not with the best drift here everyone survives it but who hasn't survived it it is masa and then also scrappy who have fallen behind so masa 45 points could be on stake for him but he still only have a second away here from the green so not much has happened here. So if I go into the follow all camera here, you can see that Matt is distracting this camera. But we can see the um, overview here over the players. But let's just go into the normal camera again. And in the meantime, Pack is claiming that third position, but making the mistake there and gets a dead respawn. So Pack with a mis mistake there and drops multiple positions behind. Two seconds behind the eighth position oh no oh no this is not good but let's follow peck and maybe he can make the comeback but yeah it will be a very hard task for him it will be a very hard task for him 1.9 seconds behind that's follow peck here he has to make it happen uh, otherwise it is minus 43 points on only the respective accumulated points that he have gotten for his placement but it seems that Pack was very fast on this map. And we still have some more laps to go. It's Evon making also a mistake. So Pack gives us a very good overview here. If he can make that comeback possible. Between Riodo and Massa. He needs to overtake it. Then also Bran. But look at that. Pack already coming closer here. Massa also there. Look at that. Massa and Pack, Both of the leaders of the race are in the red positions. And this could just take... Yeah, the, you just could change everything here for the step ranking. But Pack coming closer and closer. Great line there for him. He misaligned his line here in this section. We have to go for that risky jump. 
but yeah, Master and uh, Pack are doing it, and Riolo didn't do it. So you see, Pack lost some time because he overjumped it. So not the best part for him. Oh, Massa almost making the mistake there, but it's Pack with more speed. He loses again on some seconds. Riolo, the last player, or the first player who will lose points, who is not in the bubble, as you will say in poker, he would be the bubble boy. And it is, oh my god, Tween with a full bonk into that, and then also Scrappy with a mistake, and all of a sudden, it is Riolu in P8 and Pack only needs to rely on a mistake from one person here. Oh man, oh man, and we're going to the second to last lap. It is Peck, half a second behind Riolu. Everyone is falling apart. Scrappy and Tween with a mistake. And this means minus 22 for Scrappy and minus 13 for Tween. And then also minus 45 for Massa. But the comeback could be real here for Ma uh, for Peck. As Riolu makes the mistake and Peck is indeed in the top 8 again. Welcome back Peck. Long time no see. And look at that, Pack in the top 8, 4 seconds behind, great comeback from him, and hopefully he can stay there. Hopefully he can stay there, we have 2 more identities to go for. Uh, we all know that Pack is a calm and collected gamer, but insane performance by Pack. Just have to say that, props to him, and now up to P8 again. So this means plus 6 points, and also Aurel who's up there with 26 points. Needs to uh, collect the, those points. It's really important for him. It has a lot of pressure onto him because he has lost the points three times in a row on the steps. But now he's looking good on the fifth track. Spam Cow Jr., Afi, Bren, and Aurela are ahead of him. And then it's Papu and Bren being more than two seconds ahead. But let's focus here on Pack. Pack is right now in the eighth position despite being two seconds behind. Ahead, I mean, of the ninth position. He gives us a very good overview here, and I hope that Pack will survive that. It is, um, he is right now holding the money. The bubble boy is Kappa, and, or no, it is Scrappy right now. But yeah, now Pack is going for that safe approach. Very, very wise decision. He knows that he is two seconds ahead. Great decision here by Pack, and also overtaking Aurel there, who is, um, yeah, right now at eighth position. So, the last identity is coming up. And Pack has overtaken one more player here. So this means that he can go home with seven points instead of six. So still something. But um, yeah, one more identity to go. Oh, Pack releases a lot. But um, he's just saving it here. Very smart decision. There's a lot of pressure, of course, on his shoulders. And Pack will indeed survive it. And Pack will take home the 43 points. Kappa dead. Scrappy dead. Massa Minus 45, Evon minus 22, Tween minus 13, Riolo minus 11. And this means we have a new leader, but it's not Pack, it is Cole Jr. So Pack still in that second position. Matt not able to finish, so no points for him. Oh, actually, he finished, okay. So yeah, Pack with an outstanding good step so far. 49 points for him, 50 points for Carl Jr. So only one point between them. And this is for the first place. If Pack wins this one now, he will come closer and closer. Yeah. So yeah. It's for the first place here. Look at that. Carl Jr. with 165 points. Pack with 150 points. Papu not with the best step, but despite that, he's up to P7. So everything might happen here. So last map here is Circles by Link. And um, yeah, you, we see a lot of players. Look at that. Seven players above 30 points. Spam with 24 points here. So you can see... So many players have gotten themselves a lot of points on uh, the track and have not uh, gone into the bottom 8 position. So the last warm up here before the last map, I'm sorry, 
the last map of uh, the fourth step. Let's go here. The identity will come up now here. We have to jump yeah, into this um, um, banked uh, circle or into that... Um, how do you want to describe it? Mm. Into the tilted circle. Let's say it like that. And the second one is rather blind. But this is the last map here by Link. Map 6 out of 6. Really interesting to see that. And hopefully Pack will keep his points. So, end of the warm-up. The last map will start now. Being the top 8 is the quest. Let's follow all again here for the first couple of turns. Let's go, Pack. Let's go. Last map is coming up now. It is still what I want to stress out. It is still Bren. As you can see here, Bren. Wait a minute. Bren and um, also um, Aurel keeping their points. So this is a great performance as we see Matt making the mistake. So Matt again at the first couple of turns making the mistake. And this is not a good performance. And also Tween. Tween making a mistake there. So, uh, unfortunate stuff for them. Pack up into that battle for that third place here. He said that he's very good or that, that he's very comfortable on this track. So, um, let's see if he can redeem himself and can go home with more than 50 points here. And right now it's look, looking very well. I'm sorry uh, because he has the more outside approach. And um, yeah, goes over to the lead now. Papu and Afi are just behind him. And then we have Gren and Bren behind. And then Carl Jr. Um, dropping down to P10. But has a lot of speed here. So second lap. Still pack in the mix here. Pretty dumb. But no player except Matt, Massa and Tween have fallen behind. So Massa after losing his points completely crumbling here he had a very good step but lost so many points and now the momentum even so this is um yeah very bad to see here for him but uh, sometimes just one mistake can kill your whole momentum close fight here for the top three afi papu and when or ahead of pack here of the eminem player then we have evan behind Aurel in sixth position then we have riolo in seventh and spam on P8. So all of them look like to take, keep, keep their points. But then we also have Cole Jr. here. P10 for him. So very unusual situation. Then we see Cole Jr. that far behind. Afi not going for the boost. So thus he does not have to drift that much there. And um, yeah, loses a little bit of time with that. And, um, yeah, let's go. Third lap is coming up. Afi, again, not having the best identity though, but a very good um, middle section and so forth. So this looks really good for him. And, uh, yeah. Nice. Let's see what, what is happening here because it is a very close fight here between Spam, Yannix, Carl Jr. and Kappa here for that 8th uh, position. And um, right now it seems that no one has really uh, yeah, gotten away from that as we see Yannix going for that more outside approach. So what a close fight here. And then we can also see Pack batting out here with Avon and also um, Afi. But Evan with the more inside approach, so he will lose some time. Pack again claiming that third position into the third identity we go. This jump is also very decisive here. Evan jump does not jump uh, very or lands very flat, so we lose some time. But yeah, really cool to see that Aurel and Afi both performing very well here, finding themselves in uh, the top eight. So I hope that they will stay there both of course of course with more than 30 points 33 points for Aurel and then 36 points for Afi however Pack is about if he will stay here he will nah he won't win because Gwen has just 
press B for boost here on the last two maps. Great performance from Gwen. But Pack could um, be a, a much closer step here. Uh, or take a very, very huge step into the playoffs. So um, this um, is a nice performance by him so far. Well, not a real actually the close battle between Kappa and Spam here Spam up to 24 points and then we have Kappa only with five points on the prior map well, let's go with the identity here we have two more identities after this that have to be cleared oh pack had to counter steer there but was able to save it but lost a little bit of time and we can see Orel and Evon overtaking him and also Afi not with the best identity here but pack still on the sixth position also now no, in si seventh position, so this is a little bit of a dangerous situation for him. So we have two more laps to go. But still looking good, but we can see here Spam and then also Bren and Kappa are not so far behind. It is only 0.5 of a second between them. So um, I hope that Peg will stay there. It's still pretty close. And we have only, yeah, we have two players now in the red who have gathered themselves a lot of points. would be unfortunate here if one of them will lose their points all right all right Yannix and Bren are battling it out here and then also Kappa and Spam so what a close fight here between them it is do or die for them and then also Pack now going over to the fourth position so let's follow him for the second last identity here greatly done by Pack has some room to breathe as Aurel and then also Carl Jr who jumps super far up so he goes for a lot of speed and now <laughs> drops down to P7. Um, are attacking him, are attacking Peck. So Gwen, Papu, Avon, and Aurel still in the ahead of Peck here. Of our team member, clan member, Peck. But it looks very good. We have only one more lap to go. And it is super close. Kappa. And then also spam <laughs> on on that um, yeah like a uh, non-safe spot. Spam is the bubble boy at the moment, so can he make it into the money here? It's Bren ahead of him, and also the fight here for that first position. Papu in first, then we have Gwen in second, and then Evan behind that. Aurelian third position and fourth position betting up with Pack though so let's follow Pack for that last identity here Pack goes super wide here Aurel, Afi and Evon are ahead of him can Pack overtake them but he just has to stay in that position oh Pack what are you doing don't play with my feelings like that oh my god will Pack survive it here Pack has not a lot of speed to work with Pack down to p6 but he will stay ahead and will stay ahead of Cole Jr and Pack will not win the step, but will be tied with Cole Jr. Then we have Gwen with 45 points. Oren and Afi also with 33 and 36 points. Uh, getting themselves 10 and 8 points here. Greatly done. I mean 10 and 9 points, I'm sorry. But what a close step here. And then also Spam is taking this points. And Brent again losing the points here. So we can see, look at that. 7 out of the 8 players who have won points beforehand. Oh went home with points. Oh my... God, dude, what? Yes, let's go, man. But, dude, my heart, my heart, my heart. On, that, <laughs> on that second last jump, man. Dude, I did not think I was gonna clip. Get in there, one five eight. That's sick. That's sick. That's, That's it. sick. That's it, man. GG. That's sick. Nice. I mean, tied with uh, Carl Jr. But, dude. You you threw away so many points, but I threw away so many, so many. Yeah, I know. What a great step, man! Fifty-seven points, really well played. I just have to say that. Thank you, man. I'm yeah. just so happy that I kept them. I knew because I I threw away I threw away a lot of points. Like I could have had easy third there, and I I stupidly yeah. failed. There was some other the first track I should have won. I think like ah. Oh, Map one was dumb. winnable, yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with this one. Yeah, dude, it's 57 good. points. Wow, this is like 10 less points than your victory step. But also Gwen, dude. Gwen and Papu played super well the last two maps. That was insane. Yeah, they're really risky, really risky. I, I don't know how they're doing it, man. This, I just, 
those that like I think they could risk it more because they had less points at that point. And yeah, Gwen true. just goes mad on these tracks, whereas I think me and Carl had points and we were like, yeah, let's just get yeah. top eight on the last two. <laughs> Yeah, but it was very scary because everyone pushed it and then eventually Spam also went home with 30 points. Aurel with... Dude, Spam, the 7th, with 30 points. Look how many points have been accumulated this step. It's... Wait, how do, I, how do I go back? I can only see the uh, rank... I can only see the full ranking. Uh, click on, on the top at step ranking. Oh, I see. Oh, wow, okay, Look so... Look at that, man. It's incredible. Afri as well, keeping his points. Yeah, again, an Aurel for the first time. <laughs> yeah, finally. Yeah, finally. Dude, no. Oh my god, I'm only 14 behind Carl, 10 in front of Papu now. Yeah. Nice. That's nice. good. So maybe you can go for the win here. But, hey, uh... there's potential, there's potential. I have a week off now because I'm flying to Portugal tomorrow. So. Ah, cool. So yeah. I mean, you still have two map uh, four maps in the pack. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's the only two to learn. Yeah, and two to learn. So yeah, maybe you, you can you can do it, but it will be hard though. It will be hard, especially performing with them or on them at the highest level. Yeah. But yeah, greatly done, man. It's 57 points. That's super good, man. Yeah, really nice. that's wicked. Wicked. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can't, I'm so happy I kept my points. Yeah. I mean, if you would have not gotten any points today, um, this means that this will put so much pre pressure on the sixth step for you, but now it's fine. Now it's fine. So nice, man. Well played. Whew. But also Afi, man. Fifth position, 131 points. Spam, sixth with 103 points. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. It's looking good. It's looking quite set now. Apart from ninth, it's looking quite set. No, apart from eighth. Place in the uh, top eight. Yeah, it's... maybe even seventh when someone gets when a well gets a very very good step. Yeah. And then maybe someone else because Evan played super well as well. Yeah, he was looking so good, and then yeah, it all fell apart. Yeah, so Shit. it was kind of Gwen was bad on map one and three, and Evan was good on map one and three, and then the other way around. So this is kind of heartbreaking. Oh, I could have I could have won um, <laughs> Paradise as well. I choked it big time. Yeah. I I was just a bit shaky at that point. I don't know what was. I had the the map. I knew I was fast at it, but then I started doing one bit wrong each time, and it just it accumulated to the rest of the track going a bit wrong. Wait, can you right. can you actually tell me what happened on Cyclone? Why you won that? Uh, I have no idea. I was <laughs> I was um, I was just playing it safe. <clears throat> realized I was second. Looked at the last checkpoint, and I was two point three seconds behind. Yeah. Master. And then I went through the finish. So I was like. And I guess it was, um, I guess karma came my way because uh, I I let Massa win the first track. Massa lets me win the thing. <laughs> but no, I I guess I could have I could have had a lot more points that step. I don't know what happened to Massa, so that'd be interesting to watch because he threw that one away. Big yeah. Time. But it, it only lost him six points, whereas when I lost the first map, he lost me a lot of points. Yeah, but but very important six points because you have not lost your points in general, so that's really important. I mean, true. Yeah. Th the thing is, I was thinking, yo. Massa will definitely win that, so I will. I went from your POV off, and then you just won the map, and I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, you've done it again, mate. <laughs> the Eminem aren't going to be happy at you. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, no, no, this time I really focused on you, really. I did that. Uh, no, wicked, that's cool. Man. Yeah. I, I, I appreciate you yeah, but... casting and all that sort of stuff. And... Yeah, but yeah. I had a really rough weekend, so my cast wasn't quite perfect. Um, I'm a perfectionist, but I think it was good. So, hey, no, any, anything is good, man. It's yeah. honestly, you're a good caster, so a bad day is still a good day in my eyes. Yeah, but I had a rough weekend, so, but still, thanks for your words there. <laughs> hey, no worries, no worries. Hey, okay. likewise, but <laughs> yeah. it's all right, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, Pack, enjoy your holidays. Thank well, you. Well deserved, man, after those tremendous steps. Step two and four, and also three was kind of good. Yeah. With 27 points. So, um, gonna see you next next week. Yep. Uh, don't get yourself a sunburn and uh, enjoy the oh time. Oh my god, I re honestly, I really <laughs> hope I don't. I, every time I go away, I get a sunburn, so I'm really hoping this time I don't. Yeah, same for me. I'm turning from white to red, and then I'm turning white again. Yeah, that's, that's the same way mine goes. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit of a tan, please. Just yeah, a just a little bit. Yeah. 
anyway, I need to go pack some more stuff, so I'm going to leave you. Yeah, but uh, cheers again. Thanks for keeping in touch with me. Yeah, pack needs to pack things. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, god. man. Cheers. See you, Goodbye. man. Cheers. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, guys. That concludes step number four. Pack with 57 points. Tied with Cole Jr. And then we had... Um, yeah, surprisingly, kind of uh, Gwen winning it because he hasn't really had the stable um, pack for him. But actually, wait, wasn't that the bet from Eric? Let me actually see, see here. Uh, let me see here. What was the... Okay, Gwen. Gwen pack Cole Jr. Oh my god, Eric. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a... Bonk bet. Wow. Eric. Hello? That was, um, yeah, a good bet, I would say. Okay, guys. But anyways, I will see you next. I will see you next step. Um, let me... Guys, give me please some feedback. Please give me feedback. How you like the cast? Because I tried to keep it... I kept it very biased now. Because I think that's the way that uh, Nadir was thinking it should be. And I was also realizing it, of course. And uh, yeah, Pack played outstandingly well. But maybe next time I can, like, still focus on Pack, but not. Maybe I can find a little bit of a middle. But maybe you guys enjoy it like that because I thought it was pretty good because Pack performed very well. And uh, yeah, I'm your host, Lucker Stubo, of course. Next uh, week I will be joined in by uh, Speedy. So this will also be cool. So thanks all for watching. And um, I will see you around. Trackmania Grand League has spiced up. Of course, also that uh, Aurel has gotten points. And also Afi has gotten himself points again. So great step. Thanks all for watching. And I will see you next step. Goodbye.